Hey, hi friends, this is Bakappa. In the last tutorial of Easy Repro Automation Framework, I have discussed about how to create the record and how to search the record. The first topic for the today's tutorial is how to handle the views. And second topic is we will discuss how to delete the record. So I'll move on to the CRM application now. So we will open this CRM application, then we will log in into this application. So we are going to click on this accounts entity. Then, so views are nothing but you can based on the need, you can select the views. So currently it is selected my active accounts as a view. So if I click on this one, there are multiple views displayed here. So in our case, what we will do, we will log in into the application and we will go to this accounts ent entity. Then from this list, we will select one of the view. So by default view is my active accounts. And so if you look at here, it's the default view selected when application logged in. So what we will do in our case, so we will select the active accounts. So after selecting the active accounts, list of active accounts will be displayed. So this is our scenario. Now I will move on to the user studio. We will automate this particular scenario now. So I will open the same class that is a easy repro tutorial class. So I'll go down. I will copy the previous uh, test method that is a easy repro test three. I'll paste it. I will rename this particular test method name as easy repro test 4 and then I will remove this particular group that is a smooth testing. So now I am assigning this easy repro test 4 to the only tester stock group. So after that, so already we have the code, this will log in into the application and it will go to the accounts entity. Then before clicking on the new, so we have to select the view right so i will comment this section so we will use it in the later point in the same same session so i'll comment this section so once we go into the accounts entity so we have to select the view so for that reason you need to use the one command called xrm you need to use the object of xrm app sorry xrm app dot you can say create and followed by switch to v so here you need to pass the view name so that it will go it, it will go to that particular view and it will select the uh, given view so in our case we, we are going to select the active accounts so that's it guys so after that after selecting the view we will wait for some time so i will use the xrm app dot think time i will specify it as 3000 seconds. Let us execute this uh, test script now. So it is very simple scenario guys. It is only one command. So which will select you the mentioned view in your Dynamics 365 CRM application. Now it will click on customer service hub. So now it has clicked on the accounts, then it is selecting the active accounts, then it is it will wait for some time and it will close the browser. If you look at this test explorer also, under the test stock, you are seeing easy repro test as a easy repro test for as passed. So it is working fine. So we are done with the first test. Now we will go to the uh, test again. So 
second topic for the today's session is how to delete the record so what we will do so again i will go to the our crm application now so we will go to this accounts entity then we will click on this new and after that we will enter this account number and after saving this record again we will go back to the same accounts and we will search for the whatever the account we have created and once the account got displayed so we will select this particular record and we will delete it like this and after clicking on delete so you will get the pop up and here you need to conf confirm whether you wanted to delete this particular record or you want to cancel it so let us automate this particular scenario we will delete the record so i will go back again to the id now so i will comment out this particular line selecting the view so i'll say select view so that's it so we have already code which will log in into the application and it will select the accounts entity then after selecting the accounts entity accounts entity we have to click on the new button so for that reason i will uncomment this line again so this particular command that is xrm dot xrm app dot command bar dot click command so this will click on click on the new button then so we have identified this particular object that is a account name and here we are entering some random string so that is the account name so if you see here so this will gen this particular method will generate us the random string and we are assigning back to the account name and this account name is getting passed on to the name field that is our account field account name field then we are saving the record that's it again we are going back to the same entity that is accounts then we are searching for the account name by using the account name whatever we have created we have generated the account name by using that we are searching it till this we have already discussed in the last session right so which will create the record and it will search for the same record so after searching the record what we have to do so record will be displayed like this so after searching the after entering the record name here that means the account name and record will be displayed like this here so we have to select this particular record for selecting this particular checkbox you need to use the command called xrm object dot grid dot open so this will accept the index guys so if in your case multiple records are displayed you need to pass a proper index here so in our case as we are searching with the account name only one one record will be displayed so that's the reason i will pass the zero as a record, zero as the index so that's it this will select that particular checkbox after that once i select the checkbox we have to click on, click on the this delete button it is very similar to the new button or edit button whatever so in the earlier whenever we firstly visited to this accounts so we have clicked on this new button so delete also displayed like in the same line that means the command bar itself so that's the reason we can use the same command whatever we have used to click on the new and simply we can pass the different text that is called delete here so i will pass the delete here so that's it so after passing the delete so we have selected the record and we are we have clicked on the this delete and we are getting one pop up so here we have to accept or we have to decline so in our case we are going to click on this delete button so for this reason you need to use the command called xrm app dot so you need to call to the method called dialogs dialogs dot confirmation so in this confirmation dialog so it is accepting you the boolean value type right so here if you look at here clicks ok or cancel on the confirmation dialog true is equal to ok false is equal to cancel so we have to click on the delete so that's the reason we we have to pass the true else, true for that this particular method so if you pass the false that means it will click on, click on the cancel button so that's it then we will wait for some time after clicking on the delete button 
so here i'll put 7000 millisecond that means 7 second 7 seconds it will wait after clicking on this particular delete button in the pop up so that's it guys let me summarize again what we have did we have logged in into the application we have navigated to the accounts entity and after that we have clicked on the new then we are passing some data in the accounts name field then after saving the record again we are going back to the same entity that is the accounts entity then we are searching by using the account name once the record is displayed we are selecting that particular record and then we are clicking on that particular delete button and we are then we are finally confirming the pop-up displayed for the deletion right so that's it let's execute this this script now Now we have logged in into the application then here we have to select the uh, required crm application now home page is displayed so now it will click on click on the entity that is uh, accounts entity so if you look at on the left side it is clicked on the accounts entity so firstly we are going to create the record so now it will click on the new so it will take few seconds because uh, it is having a generic x path then it has to navigate through each of the elements and it has to identify the proper element so now it has clicked on the new button then it is going to enter the account name then it will save the record after saving the record again it is coming back to the accounts entity then now it is searching with the account name which we have created now it has to select this particular record then it has to click on the delete so it will take few seconds because uh, it has a lot of elements identified might be because we have a generic x path in place so we have selected the record by clicking on the checkbox of the record so it has clicked on the delete then it is already confirmed it so if you look at this no rows to show with that particular account name so that's all guys you can try selecting the different views and also you can, you can uh, try to delete the second record or a third record by selecting the views that will be your assignment so if you have any questions or issues please comment in the comment section also subscribe to this particular channel for getting more updates on the software testing and as well as the easier pro automation framework series thank you so much for watching this tutorial